But anyways, boss time. Stand forward. And... Dorinia's not here. Oh god, that's a bad sign. Okay, so a little more of what I was saying earlier. There's actually a manga of this uh, uh, game, and Volvagia, you know, according in the manga, was Link's pet dragon that he bought from Hyrule Market and then brought up to Death Mountain, and then was brainwashed by Ganondorf, and then Link had to cut off its head to bring it back to normal, and it thanked him after before it died. Kind of sad. Feel bad for Link. He had to kill his own pet dragon. But in this game, it's an asshole from the past. Hey, hey, take this. Yeah, you can only do one hit per cycle, basically. Or you can probably do more damage, but I just don't know. Oh, he's doing fire breath. Crap! Hit the fire breath. It's really annoying. I mean, you're constantly have to run away from fire breath. Okay. Ugh. That's scary. He stopped. All right. Now that's one of his three attacks. That's all it will do. It will come up out of the hole, hit it with a hammer. And then it will go back in there, put on its coat of lava. And then its second tactic is to go up to the ceiling and then drop rocks freaking everywhere. So what I tend to do is just run around the edge of the map. Not the map. The edge of the arena so I can avoid these damn boulders. Trust me, there's a lot of them that drop. Bulbagia just went back to the fire pit, but the rocks keep on dropping. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, one sec, let me heal up then. Take some milk. Good job, Link. Alright, so we got that and we have to put that back on the bar. No, wait. Eh, just leave it on the bar. I don't really care. Alright, come on, Bubble Gear. Where the hell are you? Wait, what the hell? Oh yeah, fire breath phase. It, it tends to switch between the two phases where it causes rock or causes flames. Pop uh, again. Stop. There we go. Ha! That's an idiot. All right, that's back in the hole, and it should go back to the fire phase. Right, it here. It likes to fake out a lot. All right, I hit it a few more times, even though you didn't see any damage taken. All right, now it's going to do the uh, boulders again. It's a very predictable boss fight compared to the last boss fight. Oh, God. Ugh. Yeah. Lots of rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. Sorry, right, Bulbagus should be going back into a hole in just a second. Yep. See, told you. Rocks can drop there a while. Well, pretty good. Alright. Eh. Damn thing. Alright, fire breath mode. Yeah, it's an extremely boring boss fight. Ugh. Like, I mean, I, I would say it's a little more exciting than Phantom Ganon, but still, it's linear boss fight where it's just the same pattern over and over, bro. Phantom Ganon's kind of painting, then shoots balls of magic at you to play tennis with. There you go. There you go. This should end you. Yep. Yes, you're dying, you stupid dragon. Whoa. 
That is probably one of the best death animations for enemies in this game. Eh, I don't want to stand there. There's a heart container there. It's evil. Sweet. And that was the whole fight. And the fire temple. Wow, that was kind of pathetic. If you say so. If I say so myself. That was kind of meh. But at least it was linear. Whoa! Holy crap. Oh, looks like all of the darkness is being absorbed out of Death Mountain. And it's back to normal. Hooray! We did good. We did good. And now we're in the Chamber of Sages. So we now awakened the Sage of the Fire Temple. And look who it is! It's Serenia! Who would have guessed? I wouldn't have. No problem. Hey, I'm your brother. I do what I have to do for my people. Yeah, who would have guessed that? <laughs> no. Yeah. The power of the stars. Destiny of the stars. Karma of the stars. Whatever. What was meant to happen, will happen, eventually. And now I get the power of friendship. And by power of friendship, I mean the fire medallion. Hooray! Hmm. Is it me or does that look like that sign from Star Wars? Holy shit, it does. Wow, that's all I specific. Don't worry, bro. We are true brothers. Alright. Man, let's get the hell out of here. No. No. There we go. Uh, I just had to remember the sound of the tune. All right, Prelude of Light. Let's go back to the Temple of Time. All right, so next time we're gonna go try and do the Water Temple. <laughs> I'm gonna look forward to that. That's really going to be the most annoying temple of this whole entire playthrough. It will be bad. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.